Welcome back, guys. It's time to just, you know, kick oh. back and catch up with Clay. Let me get comfortable. Get comfortable, Clay. I'm oh. going to do the same. This feels good. Let's just talk about you. Well, enough about me. Let's talk about you. What do you think about me? <laughs> yeah. I think, I think you're wonderful. And my mom just texted me. She's watching from Tulsa. She says, um, I like Clay. He's a fun guy. Aw. Hi, Mom. What's hi, your mom's mom. name? Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. You have, a, you have a very fine daughter here. Thank you, Clay. You're so sweet. Fine lady. Thank you. So, you know, we have a few photos. Did you have a good Christmas? I had a great Christmas. You know, yeah. Oh, the photos I sent you. Yeah. yeah. She asked me for some photos. We uh, we did have a great Christmas. My daughter Cassidy lives down in uh, in Plano, Texas. Oh yeah. So she came up, and uh, here's some pictures around our fireplace here. Uh, there, there's a. Uh, let's see if I can see. So starting left to right, that's my daughter Cassidy. Uh, she's, she lives in Plano, Texas, and my 14-year-old Caden there. Mm -hmm. And then there I am, my beautiful wife Tina. Tina. Our son Colton, and then Colton's girlfriend Keaton, mm -hmm. uh, on the end. Co Keaton dances in the shows with oh, us nice. Peter, and she's a, a talented singer and dancer. And then there's Roger, our our black, the boxer, black one there. And then Reba is in my wife's lap, and uh, she's a five. There she's my this Reba. This is a new addition to your family. Yeah, I did not know at, about. Look how cute she is. This is Reba. That's Reba. She's uh, five months old, and she's a uh, Chinese pup. Oh my goodness. Look at her. Oh, she's so sweet. See, I, I didn't realize you had two dogs now. She is so cute. She's a Well, our Roger, he's a, he's a 90 pound boxer. He, he's, he's a, he, he, he takes, he requires a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're thinking if we get another dog that you, maybe you won't have to spend as much time with him. I'm like, we either got to get another pup or Roger's got to <laughs> hit the old doggy trail. But let me tell you something. Do they like each other? Th this pup has changed Roger's world. He's the most well-behaved. He gets along. He just, Roger had a tendency. He liked to play hard. So if he came up to you, he wouldn't, he, he'd just gnaw on you. And oh, like to, wow. You know what I mean? Bite on mm -hmm. you. Not, not, not to hurt you, but just to play. And uh, so we got Reba. Now they just gnaw on each other. <laughs> And they wear each other out. And Roger's just, he, he's, he's, he's a completely different dog. But how's Reba with that? Is oh, Reba okay? Oh, Ro Reba is the, she's the problem. Instigator? She's yeah, the she's instigator. the instigator. Mm -hmm. Like Roger could just want to chill out and she just, he's got these big old long jaws that hang down and she'll grab a hold of that skin and just hang well, on it. Well, that's because she remembers the last time he went after her. Yeah, and, he, so and, and she, he just sets and takes it. He doesn't snap at her or nothing. That is such a great idea that you did that. That no, is so good. We, well, we thought something's got to change because Roger's, He's a lot. Yeah. I remember when you got Roger, mm -hmm. he was just a little puppy. Uh, Tina did a little video and, and he was in the way and under her feet and that oh, sort yeah. of thing. Oh, yeah. He was a lot. But I'm telling you, getting a second dog and companionship for him has mm -hmm. been the best decision ever. Same thing with cats. I mean, if, you get, if you're going to get cats, get two of them, especially if they're little bitty growing up together and yeah. you will have the most laughs of your whole life because oh, they're hilarious. Yeah. So it's... good for, I just got introduced to Reba. Yeah. She's, That's good. I bought her up in Waynesville, Missouri, from a breeder up there, mm -hmm. and we've had uh, pugs before. This is our actually our fourth pug that we've owned, and, and they're they're great. Dogs. They're good dogs. Oh yeah, fantastic. Yeah, now dogs. I want to talk about all your different jobs. Are you still doing radio? We have our the Clay Cooper Experience mm -hmm. uh, 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 every Saturday morning, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., mm -hmm. and that is broadcast on KRZK Legends 106.3 in Branson, and also syndicated on the original 94.9 9 uh, KHLZ in Harrison, Arkansas. Okay. And it's a great time. We've been doing it a couple of years. My wife and I, uh, I call her the chicken charge because she is. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the chick in the chicken charge, not the char chicken charge. Not the chicken charge, the okay. chick in charge. Gotcha. Like gotcha. the boss. I gotcha. Right? So uh, we do that. And it's, 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 it's uh, all about faith, family, and flag. We talk about some you know, every now and then we might be some politics talk, but very little. We try to keep that out. Uh, country music. Uh, we do a segment called Back to Back Bocephus where we play uh, two Hank Jr. songs back to back because I love Hank Jr. We do a Meemaw's Memories, which is a segment where I pay tribute to my grandma. She played the piano in our local church back in Texas. So we, we, uh, we spotlight a, an old fashioned gospel song. And then we have Tina's Tune, which is where she picks a song that she desires for that week. And uh, so normally the playlist is mostly old 70s, 80s, 90s I love country. that, yes. Uh, and then Tina's song is usually Barry Manlow, oh. Bette Midler, Barbara Streisand, 
uh, Elton John, that type of stuff. She so throws a little something. She in puts in there. her own little thing in there, and it, it's a lot of fun. Seven to ten a.m. every Saturday morning. Oh, Saturday! You're working on the weekend too. Saturday morning, seven wow. to ten a.m. Yeah. So we have that. Uh, of course, I'm still the I'm still a local alderman in Branson. Uh, I, I'm up for re-election this April. Are you going to? Oh yeah, I, I'm. I, I am going to be running again, uh, and that's been interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I. Um, when, when I got into politics a couple of years ago, I got pretty passionate during during the whole pandemic and, and got passionate about some things. And I thought, well, that drove you straight into it drove there. me straight into into the to, to run in for the election. And uh, I got in there and realized, hey, there's a lot more. There's a lot of things that, uh, that need to be changed, that need to be focused on, maybe mm -hmm. amended or, or tweaked or changed. And uh, I, I feel like the board that we have now and, and Mayor Milton, uh, We've got a lot of great things accomplished uh, mm -hmm. in Branson. We've made some staff changes and uh, that were that were necessary. And uh, it, it's been it's been a lot of fun. And we I've learned so much. Mm -hmm. Like I couldn't tell you anything about sewer pops or water pops or, you know, how uh, uh, getting a grant funded for for this project and and. Uh, TIFFs, you know, uh, it, I've, I've learned so much. and it's It been, just it's opened been, up your view about how things run. And yeah. Like, I never even thought about that. Never thought about and how expensive mm -hmm. it is to, to, to do things and to pour new sidewalks or to fix potholes mm -hmm. or street lights on, on 76. And noticing that stuff, that's good stuff to fix. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, I've been pretty passionate about trying to uh, maximize the taxpayers' dollars to, to to its fullest, you know, because I feel like in the past there's been a lot of wasted money. Oh, thank you for doing that. I mean, I don't live down there, but I'm just saying I I would like to see that across the board. I think that goes goes everywhere. It's easy yeah. it's easy for local government, state government to spend money that's not theirs because it's mm -hmm. not theirs. Right. Oh, how much is that? A half a million? Yeah, write them a check. Well, yeah. I try to look at it through a lens of this is my money. Right. And how would I spend my money? And would I purchase that? Do I really need that before mm -hmm. I purchase right. it? And I think that's the You'd best You'd be a little bit more look. frugal. More frugal, for okay, sure. Okay, well, I love that. And yeah. I, I think we're close to being out of time because we yeah. didn't get to your theater. We've got the Clay Cooper Theater, yeah. claycooper.com. A lot of shows going on down there in Branson. Check us out. We'll be right back. That's right.